What's going on YouTube? It's your boy proud to carry on back with another one. Hey, if you're new to the channel, you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, hit that post notification bell so you can always stay updated whenever I upload my videos. Also, if you already been on the channel, you're already proud to carry game. Welcome back here with another one. All right, so pretty much what I'm going to be talking about today is uh, something that y'all probably seen a thousand times on YouTube already. And I figured why not make it a thousand and one, right? Maybe, you know, I might show y'all something that, you know, that y'all don't see on other uh, YouTube channels when people cleaning their firearms. But I just figured why not go ahead and make a video, throw it out there, and let y'all see how I do my stuff, all right? So I will be showing y'all how I clean my Block 43X. Now, before we get to that, I haven't cleaned this thing probably since end of last year, beginning of this year. And since then, I put roughly around 200, 250-ish rounds to it. Uh, I do, this is in my uh, EDC rotation. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I know somebody, I know some people gonna get out here and be like, oh, you're supposed to always make sure your everyday carry gun is clean, blase, blase. Again, you know what I'm saying? If Glock, if Glock claim to be, every gun can malfunction, but you know, if, if this firearm Glock, the manufacturer claims to be reliable as it is, trust me, I'm not too concerned about it malfunction. Like I say, any gun can malfunction, whatever the case may be. So anyways, I just want to get that out the way before somebody get under the comment section and say, oh, make sure you always keep your EDC clean. I get that, whatever. But anyways, yeah, let's get straight to it. Hi, right, YouTube. So just to show you guys, uh, let's see. All right, so let's just show you before we get started. Uh, this is some of the stuff that I use to clean my firearms with. Um, so I always have Q-tips, a bunch of them, because you never know how many you would need. Like I say, I use Q-tips up to the point where they pretty much turn out white like this, and I don't see any dirt on it. So I set those to the side. Um, I got the little cleaning patches, of course. I got a few of those. Um, got the little board cleaner, as you can see, so focus. All right, but it's made specifically for the nine millimeter. Uh, also got this that I use, put the patches through, to clean, help clean the barrel and oil the barrel. And of course I got this little rod here for it. Uh, got the little tool brush that I use with the thin and thick part. I also use this Hobbs, uh, Hobbs, I meant to say, yep. That's what I use, it's either, the, it's either I'm using this or um, or CLP. Uh, the CLP I usually get, I usually get it from Walmart and for some reason it's only good for one time and after that it don't want to work right anymore. The can, it don't want to spray out, so I don't even bother with that anymore. Then I use this to oil my gun. This is what I use to oil it with. Right. Um, yeah, so that's what I use. Also, this did come like in a package, in a, in a package or whatever, and it has an oil that comes with it, but I don't use it. So, you know, it comes in a pack. So, anyway, of course, before we do that, I also I get some gloves that I use to keep you know the stuff all off my hand. Got a little microfiber uh, towel. You can either use that or use an old t-shirt, dirty t-shirt that you're not going to use anymore. I tend to use it all. It is what it is. The more the merrier, right? I'm just that tedious. So before we get started, this is my carry gun. I do carry this. So it is loaded. But before, as always, before you go going to clean your firearms, you want to make sure that you unload it, right? They don't want no ammunition or anything value, but I mean, come on now. You put something in there that is on you. I'm by no way, shape, or form a professional when doing this stuff. So again... No ammunition value, so I'm gonna set this away from me. And also, set that away from you as well. All right, so, so you guys, there's nothing in the chamber. There's no ammo around me, or near next to me, the firearm or whatnot. So, we all good. And now, I can just break it down before we get to the cleaning part. You guys already know how to break down the clock, so I'm not gonna even show you that. So, Gloves on. Okay. And so here we go. So as you guys can see, it's probably about 
probably not the dirtiest that you guys have seen the firearm. But uh, let's see if it's gonna focus. Yeah, it's probably not the dirtiest, but you guys can see it is pretty dirty. It's not too bad though to have um, 250 inch rounds to it. So, as you guys can see, uh, that boy is definitely, that barrel is definitely dirty. Let's see if it's gonna focus. Right, so I know you guys probably can't see it, but yes, that barrel is definitely dirty. And uh, of course, that slide needs to be cleaned as well. Uh, yep. So, all right. So, without further ado. So now that that's all broken down, without further ado, we're gonna get go ahead and get to the oiling process of how I how I start off doing mine. So the first thing I want to do is I want to take this bore piece, right? Put that on and set that stuff to the side. I want to take this and I'm gonna run it through the barrel here just to break up any kind of carbon or anything that might be stuck in there. So that through and I just go through what it one time that's all I need and I take it off so one time is fine with me to break up anything that might have been in there so okay so with this one here I take one of my patches take one of my cleaning patches here and go ahead and get it through here Like I said, you don't have to use gloves to do this because sometimes using a glove can kind of get in the way. But it's up to you. Take some of my Hobbs grease, dip this oil up in there. Now this came out nice and oily as you guys can see. Uh, set that to the side there. As you guys can see, it came out nice and oily. You can see it's getting on my glove. So this will help break up anything that's uh, that's up in there. So, you guys did see it did trip out a little bit on my map, but that's fine. Just wipe that up. Wipe that up a bit. So, as you guys can see, it did, uh, let's see. So, like I said, for it to be 200 some rounds through it, it didn't come out too dirty. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep on using this, this little patch right here, this little pad. So what I'm gonna do is take that, while it's still a little wet on it and everything. And I can of course just wipe this down a little bit. As you guys can see, yeah, look at that. As you guys can see this uh barrel was pretty uh like I say dirty, as you guys can see how dirty it was. This is me wiping it down on the outside. And like I said, I'm gonna go over this again. I'm just doing this for right now. I'm gonna set this to the side and let that marinate. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get to the slide. So of course what I tell you, I take this deal and I just wipe down in the inside here. And as you guys can see, this almost instantly, this almost instantly turned black from the carpet. You see that? So yeah, it was dirty. It was definitely due for cleaning. So I wipe that in the inside, right? And then I also take this brush and this is just putting the oil on it, so I'm not technically cleaning this part, this is putting the oil. I take this brush and I put it around the skinny part of the toothbrush just to get in the slide part here in the little crease on the inside here. Uh, right there, that's to get on that. Let me see if I can, so you guys can see what exactly what I'm talking about. So yeah, that's to get in this little crease right here. 
You see the little crease have right there? That's what I'm using the, the skinny, the skinny part of the brush for. With the oil, that's to get it up in there and break it up. So I just take it and I just rub it back and forth in it. That's to get it all clean up in there. I mean, just to get it uh, break up whatever might be up in there. All right. Now we're going to get a, a fresh one. And then we're gonna go in this again and start cleaning it. We're gonna start cleaning that. Like I said, it don't take long, it don't take much. And as you guys can see, look at that. Pretty dirty. So gonna flip that over. We're gonna go over it again. If you feel the need to uh, do it again, I mean, as many times that you feel it's comfortable and need to do, you do it. It's not like a certain designated amount of time that you need to do this stuff. See? So it's, it's becoming a little cleaner. You're going to go for one more time. That's what. Just to be a little safe on the safe side. Make sure we all cleaned up there. Minor dirt that's coming off. Alright, so yeah, so it's pretty much clean. I mean, it's pretty much clean. That is pretty much clean. Yeah, that's pretty much clean. So you see the dirt on this side, it's just coming from my gloves and from the other side. So yeah, that's clean. So what I'm gonna do now is take this same piece right here, right? And I'm gonna take some of this Hobbs oil, I'm gonna fold it, and then just put a little bit on there like that, right? Take a little bit of that oil, I'm gonna take this brush now. And what I'm gonna clean is something that I never see a lot of people do when they clean their fire. All right, let's see if we're gonna focus. I can show you guys what I'm about to do. Right, let's see, so I show you. So, as you guys can see, this little part right here, right here, see that little opening? I'm going to clean the inside of that. And I'm going to show you guys how much, just right by the extractor, see that I say, right in between the extractor, right there, the extractor. I'm going to clean in, in between. I'm going to show you how much gunk and, and nastiness be in there. And I don't see a lot of people cleaning that on their on cleaning videos. And I'm sure some probably did it out there. I just never saw it. But I take that same skinny brush with this little oil here, and I clean it between that. So I'm gonna scrub that. I'm gonna show you guys how much gunk and nastiness be up in there. So just take it, scrub, scrub, scrub. Now look at that. See how black that came out? <laughs> See how black that came out there? So yeah. So you just wanna just to take that extra precaution. I don't you know. I don't know if it's actually a necessity, but you still want, you don't want to uh, have extraction problems. There's too much carbon build up right there. And at that same time, you still cleaning, like right here, when your firing pan come out. So you can do all, knock all that out at once since you're already in, in that area. You know what I'm saying? So now I'll take a clean patch and go over the same spot again. Just to make sure to dry it all up. See, it's still, still dirt coming out on that. See that? It'd be nasty, man. It'd be filthy. Remember, that's where that fire cream is hitting, and all that carbon is, 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 is pretty much hitting right there. And getting stuck right there, getting trapped right there in that spot. And if you're going thousands and thousands and thousands of rounds, and hundreds and hundreds of rounds, and you're steady, you know, training with your firearm or and not thinking about that spot right there, then that's when you start having fairies eventually you don't know why so and the last thing you want to do this your carry gun is have that fail on you god forbid you ever need to use a firearm so yeah so with that being said that is clean that's clean so now i am all done 
with the slide part, okay? Now we're going to get to the frame. And again, I take a clean patch, right? And I just fold it here, dip that, dip it a couple times on here, try to get that patch nice and oily. And I, you know, wipe down, just start wiping down on it just to get some of that. I reach what I can with my finger, oops, I'm sorry. I reach what I can with my finger first, with my hands, and then I use this. And man, like I said, I'm not cleaning it with this. I'm just holding it up so I can get the stuff to break up. And look how dirty that is. And this is not me even trying to clean it. This is me oiling it up. I take the big part of the brush, and before I do that, I just try to break up any kind of gunk that might be around up in the inside. Go to the bottom, do the same thing. I guess I'm one of the people that cleans my mag well too, so you guys will see that. Then I take this, right, and I go through the bottom with it and get some get parts that I can uh, that I can get to with my finger. So while that's soaking and doing what it's doing, I take the Q-tip and dip it in here. And now, this is where I put this right behind this part here with my trigger bar at, as you guys can see. So I'll take it right up in this little spot right here. Let's see if it's gonna focus. All right, so I get right back there. While we up close, I'm gonna show you guys. I just dip it up in there. And that little part there, I'm gonna show you how dirty this be. Look at that. It be filthy. So you wanna try to keep your trigger as smooth as possible. I just flip it over on the other end, clean it out with a dry spot, and I just take it, take another Q-tip, dip it in my oil again, and I do the same thing, twice. You know? Well, how many times you need to do until you see no more gunk is coming out of that. Manager, this is right behind your trick. This is the, this is associated right behind your trigger bar. So you want to keep your gun shooting smooth as possible and keep it shooting accurate, man. This is what you gotta you gotta when you, you like just like how you detail your car, you know. You wanna detail your firearm when you clean it. Now if you really want to get down and dirty, you can uh, if you had a mechanical means, you can, you know, knock that pen out, knock the pen out that's right, that sits right there. And uh like you take the whole trigger bar out and you can really deep, deep clean this if you wanted to, you know, but you know, that's for another day. So yeah, I, I get all up in here, you know, all the spots that my little finger can't reach. I try to get as much as I can, man. Look at that. I mean, just look how filthy it is. Like I said, I mean, this thing is just coming out. Let's see if you guys can focus. You see how dirty it is coming out? And I'll usually be done with this way quicker, but you know, I'm showing you guys this, so I just wanna get into real good detail about cleaning your firearm, man, and how clean it should be. And like I said, I know a lot of people are probably gonna look at this and be like, man, I ain't doing all that. I'm just doing it good enough to work. I mean, that's up to you. You do what you wanna do. But like I said, this video is not for the people who know how to clean guns already, or, you know, even if it is, I mean, like I say, I'm just trying to throw out some other key points and details that you guys probably never paid attention to, or that people feel like, man, they wanna get their gun a little bit cleaner, and they just don't know how. Also, what I do, I get another Q-tip. Show you guys. Uh, I push up the mag release on this right here, and I get right behind it, clean in the inside. Does even that be dirty? And if you, you can do the same thing, like with your uh, Gen 5, like Glock 19 or 45, or your bigger Glocks that don't uh, that has the uh, double arm, um, that has the mag, uh, the slide release on both sides. 
Yeah, you can just lift it up and clean both sides of it. Cause like I say, that get dirty too. I mean, look at it. That get dirty as well. So any spot that can that can get dirt on it, I try to clean it best way as I can. All right, like I say, now just take a clean patch, and I just try to you know rub down everything. Try to get all that stuff nice and clean. Try to get it. And like I said, I want to get all that gunk off there. And I take it and I rub inside the mag well as real. Now you're not wrong cleaning inside the mag well, especially if you want the magazines to keep on dropping free for you. If there's one thing I learned when I was also cleaning my firearms, is, I mean, when I, when I, uh, and the reason why I get so detailed like this, I'm gonna tell you guys, because when I took my concealed carry class, one thing, one key point I took from my instructor was, even though I know I said I'm gonna walk around with a dirty like this, but one thing he told me was that uh, you always wanna keep your firearm clean just in case, like you get pulled over or something like that, and man, maybe you didn't shoot nobody, but I had to use your firearm, but, uh, you might fit the description of somebody who had to use the firearm or use the firearm or whatever like that and, or shot the firearm off and then you know depending on what officer it is they might want to check your firearm and if it got you know if it got um if it has uh you know gun residue gunpowder residue on it from you maybe going to the range and you just you not know, cleaning your gun they can always try to say oh well you know Gun got gunpowder residue on it, blase, blase. I mean, come on now, you don't want to deal with that. So, yeah. So, yeah, so that is pretty clean from, let's see, from focus. So, yeah, this is pretty clean from when I first showed you guys, as you can see. Nice and clean. All right? Nice and clean. As you guys can see. All right, so now we're gonna to get to the barrel now, okay? Barrel just been over here chilling, relaxing. So we're gonna go ahead and get to that, okay? Now, like I said, we're gonna grab our rod. What that is on there. We're gonna grab our rod and we're gonna clean it out real good. Even if you want to oil it up again, just to give it one more uh, good run, you can do that as well. It has to make sure. Oops, I think I put a little bit too much on it that time. But you can't ever be too sure with your guns, man. Look at that. Today, nothing else coming back. Look at that. Look. Look at this, man. Ain't nothing on here. That's what you. That's how it's supposed to be clean. You know what I'm saying? That's how it's supposed to be. So we're gonna just clean the outside real good. Like I said, just make sure that you clean all this stuff off. All this other uh, um, solvent or whatever this is. That's how. Just make sure you clean it all off once you are done. All right. So take another rag, clean rag, and just wipe it all off. Clean pad, wipe it all off. Or you can use a microfiber while it's sitting right here. It's up to you. So yeah, we're going to go here. That's to dry out. That's to dry out the inside of that. You know, that's how we do. clean pristine okay nice clean nice and clean look at that the way different from when I first heard you guys right I mean look nice and clean okay this is how you want your fire 
logical. So, I'm gonna get back to the oiling process and the red sample process. The spraying, I don't worry about, it's up to you. If you wanna clean it, that's your choice, it's up to you. So, what I'm gonna do now is I take my Lucas Extreme Duty here, and this is what I, I start to oil it with. So, I start with the slab first. Just put a little drop on the crease here. And like I said, you don't need a much. You wanna put some on every part where that, uh, where that metal is gonna run, man, pretty much. So, let me show you guys what I oiled that. Okay, it shut off, so, yeah. So I oil right here, because the trigger bar rubs against that. I put a little bit of oil on each side of here, just a tad bit. Put it one little dab back here on the rail on the inside on both sides and the same thing on the front here just a little bit on on the inside the rail here and the other side as well and then a little bit right on this part in the middle there all right and i take my barrel and i oil you see if i can get up close and personal for you guys so you can guys can see exactly how i do I'm gonna focus okay so Take a little oil, put it right here for me. That's a dab. Put a little oil right here. All right. Put a little oil right here. Go across, put a little oil right here. Okay. I rub some oil here, right on the slide. I'm gonna rub that around it, All right? Now you put a little drop of oil in the inside here, or you can put it on your, uh, you can put some oil on your, um, the cloth here, but I usually drop it in the barrel, and then I, I run my uh, cloth through the barrel or whatnot. So take that here, and I just rub that. That's to keep that nice and oiled up. And trust me, it stays oiled up for a while. Put that on there. Take another patch. Take another patch here. And no, this is not taking the oil out of it. So. For the guys who are thinking that, like, oh, you just rubbing through and taking the oil out? Oh, it's not. So, because you just put it through one time, like so. And that's it. And that just rub the oil, uh, rub the oil through the uh, through the barrel. So, let's see if it's gonna focus for you guys. So, yeah. As you guys can tell, it is oiled in the inside. And if you don't feel like it's oiled enough for you, you can always drop some more oil in there, but. That's good enough for me. Okay, with that being said, now we wanna reassemble, reassemble it. Of course, that up in there. Put that on there. Now, oil this part. So of course I put a little oil back here and on that side as well, put a little oil there, right there, right here, right here, and that's a little bit of oil uh, right by the trigger bar. Right, just to get it that smooth, smooth uh, feeling. And all I gotta say, you don't need to go all day or oil, just a little bit. So you wanna take it, take the fire, put it back together. Now, right? So that's what I do to mine here. I have to make sure that, it, that all that oil is getting through how I want it to. Keep that nice and clean. And then also just take my microfiber towel. And I just wipe that gun down real good. Wipe it down real good. Keep it that fresh look. And ain't nothing like a clean fire. You know what I'm saying? So. So now, she's so ready to hit the range again or get back in the, get back in the host. So, as you guys can see. Nice and clean. Nice and clean. All right, sorry about that. The battery have her dead on. But anyways, yeah, so 
that is how you clean your firearm. That's how I clean my firearm, sorry about that. So yeah, see nice and clean. Ready to hit the range again, ready to conceal and carry again. See nice clean, that's just how I like it. You know, all good to go now. All right, so again, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I know it's a thousand other videos out there, but that's just the way I do my thing. And as always, man, like I told y'all, if you like what you see on the channel, like, subscribe, comment. Feel free to donate to the channel. My cash shop will be down. And uh, if you want to donate, if you want to support the channel, if you want to help out the channel, my cash shop will be down below in the, in the uh, description. And yeah, you know, we'll post it on the screen. So yeah, as always, stay safe, stay pro to wait, stay proud to carry, and don't never say what you don't need because you never know what you need until you need it. Catch y'all on the next one.